In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP NVI Inspire to your computer using an USB cable in case you don't want to use the Wi-Fi network to be able to print and scan. So let's get started right away. If we go on the back of your printer, you're going to notice on the right side, there is a small sticker that says USB with, you know, a Wi-Fi icon right above. This is just a sticker that if you remove it, you're going to notice this is where the USB port is located. They put this because they simply want to tell you that you don't need a USB cable, you can use the Wi-Fi. But in our case, we're going to connect using a cable. Unfortunately, HP does not include the cable in the box. You have to purchase one separately if you don't already have one at home. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. It looks like this. It's a pretty basic printer cable. You just have to connect it here. And do not connect it uh, right after it in your PC or Mac computer. Wait until I tell you. The easiest way to get the driver is to go in Google and type the name of your printer. So in my case, it's HP NVI Inspire 7255E. And then type driver at the end. Go down until you see the official HP website where it says HP NVI with the number of the name of your printer and then software and driver. Make sure you click on the official HP support website. Then over here it will tell you that it has detected your system. In my case it's a different one. I don't know why it says Windows 10. I'm on Windows 11. So I'll select Windows 11 and update. Then go down and where it says installation software and full basic driver support print and scan functionality only. Keep here, uh, click here and click on the download button. Open the file. You can close the web browser in the background. Press yes. Press continue. Here you can click no. Now it's time to connect the other end of your USB cable to the computer. Once the cable is connected, you're going to get this screen. You need to make sure to select USB cable and then press continue. Press continue. Over here, they'll ask if you want to connect your printer to the internet. If you don't want, press no thank you. You're not obligated to do so since you have connected it using a cable. Then press continue. Then you'll get a green check mark. Press finish. And we are done. Now let me show you how to print and also how to use the scanner. So I'll open this one over here. That's the document I want to print. Select the print icon. And under printer, make sure your HP printer is selected from the list. Select how many copies you want and the other details about your print. And when you're ready, press the blue button. Extend this tray if it's not already extended. Here we go. We got our print. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. So here we have the scan lid. Open put it up, take your document, put your document facing down with the top part on the left side. See, like that. Then you see, bring the corner of the paper to touch the corner of the scanner over here on the top left corner. When both are touching, close the lid. On your Windows computer, we need to go back where we were previously. Um, a, short, a quicker way to get there is to go over here where it says uh, search in the search bar and type scan. You should see printers and scanners and click on this option. It's the same place where you were a few seconds ago and you connected the printer. Tap on your printer, 
then tap on scanner settings and select get scanner app it will bring you to the Microsoft Store maybe you already have this app by the way some computers comes with it and you need and you need to download the Windows scan app it's 100% free and it's very useful then open the app make sure under scanner your printer name is selected source you can leave it to auto but if your printer has two scanners you can select the specific one that you want to use so flatbed is the one you just saw you may also have an automatic document feeder that is on the top of the scanner I'll keep it to auto configure and then the file type so what kind of file do you want out of this scan so a JPEG a PNG TIFF other stuff like that if you click on show more you'll also be able to select where do you want this scan to go so if I click here I can select for example desktop if this is where I want it to go and click on select folder once you're ready you should have a scan button right over there you see you may not be able to see it like in my case if I make this uh, window full screen you'll be able to see it press on scan processing and you're gonna get a message on the top that the scan has been saved you can click the view button and it will open the document right away so this is my document you can zoom in do whatever you want to do with the document you see it's on the desktop with your PC computer I hope my tutorial was helpful if you want to support my channel please check the Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some ink from your uh, printer some paper or if you want to get a brand new uh, printer every time you click through my links I get a very tr uh, small I get a very small commission when you buy stuff on Amazon and this keeps my channel going so comment down below subscribe and I will see you in the next video